There's not a single day that passes Without you on my mind Not even one minute can end up Before you come around hi guys welcome back to yet another vlog so today i have a special video for you and welcome to yet another vlog if you're new karibu sana to all our returnees karibu sana and thank you so much for always coming back to support our content so today um you're gonna spend maybe three hours of my day for today because i'm not intending to do a vlog for now because of course i have a pile of vlogs to edit so today i'm not planning to do a lot of uh, uh video recording or filming so today i want to braid my daughter's hair yes because it's holiday the pressure is getting worse <laughs> so as you can see mama yao kama mtoto wametupwa lakini i want to braid her hair i'm not sure what i'm going to to plant her but of course it's braids so for those people who don't know what braids is but i don't think if there is someone who done who don't know what braid is or peace <laughs> to see the piece yeah these are braids yes so i'm using uh some of the braids that i had from my salon yes i closed it so <laughs> i had some leftovers uh this braid so this is what i'll be using for today so she had a specific color that she wanted to be braided at uh, one blue okay what i mean like one blue is a uh, blue color with black like one blue i don't know what what am i saying yeah like one blue it's a for example this is color 27 so there is another color that is called one blue so, but for that one blue, we'll not be printing it now because, of course, uh, Christmas holiday, it's not near. So, we have maybe one to two weeks to uh, at least end Christmas if we can. So, before that, and because I know I don't want uh, her hair to tangle, and the Stucky and Kimpeleka salon, I want to breed her. I'm thinking of doing some knotless, big knotless for now and then maybe when the holiday approaches i will undo her and then we braid the one blue she desires okay so let me attend to my babies because of course um it's her time to sleep but it seems like salimi <laughs> watu panini unali why are you crying mm. Yeah, so I want to clean her as you can see her hair is so messy. So yeah, let me first breastfeed her. Breastfeed the small one and then I will deal with the the other one later because we and of course we will use our white nose. Hey, we can let it So, yeah.
so finally guys i'm done fixing oh so um not yet done uh, with the ends but these ones i'll finish later because i have also other housework to do so i'm done with the fixing because of course this is the hardest part when grading if you have already fixed uh, you can just uh, finish the ends when maybe you have a free time so as you can see i have done some box not less braids you can see my parting it's can see so yeah i will finish with the ends later but but i will show you the last um, the final look when i'm done but of course now this is how i have done it hi guys welcome back again and let's continue our vlog so today uh it's of course 4 p.m masai drioni and mimi nililala aki leo kumenyesha and today it's on 27th today it's on wednesday yeah today it's on wednesday so mimi nilienda kulalishia mtoto kali saindo i have utensils to clean so first of all before we continue with our today's video because of course uh, i want to show moms out there uh, because there's many help during the newborn phase because of course sasa 14 weeks yeah so one of the things that is this dawa inaitwa infacol infacol yeah this one so this infacol kuna a lot of uh, uh kuna many types kuna pierce drip grape water and this one if i can remember it could end up for 950 kenyan shillings yeah this infacol so mtoto wangu alikuwa na shinda mejikunja analia analia alikuwa yani uncomfortable see it's just doing a good job again you deep but if i'm to talk about newborn and because i went to the hospital if i can remember i mentioned that in one of my videos and after we went to the hospital i asked the doctor on our two weeks clinic and the doc and then you know somebody who yeah that lady she said there is nothing we can do and there is no medication that you can give your child at this age but after kuongea na wamama najua tu wamama na maneno wa mama so one of my friend aliniambi alini recommend this dawa and uh, it's suitable of course it, it's also written it's suitable for um from birth onwards so nataka nipe tips ya vitu zenye zimenisaidia kwa wale wamama wajawazito for those mothers that who are pregnant right now and of course because i know and i believe you you will receive your bundle of joy so through this uh, raising journey this is one of the things that immense idea a lot another thing that has helped me so much uh during this uh raising period i'm at this uh, what, what are these <laughs> these people spot on anyway anyway let's continue so another thing that has helped me so much so People live uh, in different areas. There are a lot of there are some people who live in hot areas and other cold areas. And uh, live alone living in hot or cold area, there are sometimes that your newborn and a fungi kind of like their nose is in a block and uh, he or she and a struggle to breathe. So that is that was one thing that my daughter Aliko Nayo and of course. You cannot give her an oral medicine. There are some parents who usually suck the mucus through their mouth. Me, I can't. Oh, ataka mane mtoto wangu me, I can't. No, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nita tapi kandi filiko. Why? I can't. So, um, there are these nose drops. Like this is this is one of the plants maybe, and I'm not paid to talk about this this video is not sponsored by anyone okay so this one i'm sharing with it 
with my amazing mothers, okay? Let's see how they are doing. Let's see how they are doing. Let's see how they are doing. So, this is a a nose drop. It's a I don't know if you can see. Yes, so this one. It's called Nosella. Nosala. I mean Nosella. Nosala. So I know there are other brands, but it's a Nosol drop. As you can see right here. So if your kid or your baby or your newborn anafungana mapua, you two drops each nose. Yes, I'm not a doctor, but that is what I was doing when mapoya ke likoi na fungana. Till even now, I usually use this. Niki ske mapoya ke me fungana. So that's a tips for the mom. And because I'm gonna rompaya in one of my video, ni limuliza moms as yes moms. Muna vaka kufunga tumboli. Ni amku ni reply yanga tam tumoja rompaya. Sasa chini ni moneshe. Ni meru de flat tummy. I'm seeing you lose the serene and any. I'm embarrassed <laughs> because this tummy, I yendi mahali. Miss, I don't know what is the problem, but oh my goodness, maybe ni kona tank up. But okay, let me fly, let me flex it to my tummy. Eh, we don't pay the power bingo. So let me show you my tummy, but also I will share with you maybe before this video ends what I usually used to time my tummy because of course right now I'm at 11, 11, 12 weeks now. Yeah, so let me show you my tank, and I'm very proud of it. My sweet tank on Baba's and I Yeah, so. Look at this. So this is my tummy. See? This is how I look right now. But haka. Kame kata kuenda, kuenda. There is this one, this one here. And of course, stretch marks. Eh? My stomach is called black, black. And the love handles. <laughs> so yeah. Right now, this is how my tummy is. I will not lie to you. I'm not comfortable with it. I will not lie. I'll not lie. But anyway, I will work on it. Okay, I'm not planning to stress myself right now. At the oh, I stop eating like a fundi wa mijengo. I will eat, of course, because I'm breastfeeding. Mama! Nakuda! Mama! Mama! So, we are currently almost 14 weeks. So guys, I had soaked some clothes here. So I wanted to wear them. Yeah, I wanted to clean them right now because also I wanted to cook very early. All goes to fire.
Yeah, so guys, I'm done cleaning. Has it a mob by the can see? Yeah. Zilikuwa ngoza mkojo and I don't like kuweka ngoza mkojo kwa nyumba. So and I want to cook uh, omena so I want to cook omena because of course I promised you I will show you how I make my omena so nimebeba hapa mutu wangu make a baby girl so I want us to head out and kumenyesha sujuka kuna mato so guys, nimeona kunataka kunyesha and nimeona it will be very risky carrying the baby on my back and to end it and maybe tutanyesha to go kwa barabara. So, amelala. And I want to go alone. Nitamwacha na Vicky. Ako amelala. Yeah, so Vicky, uangalie mtoto. Nasikia? Nasikai. So, I let me lakini before um, okay nitakuwa nimerudi so mali naenda si mbali ni hapa tu so let's go Vicky ana watch cartoon zake hapo let me leave and go 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 my kalale yake Vicky usifungulie kivolume kikubwa Analia hey Adalia kamelala bad I would like to know what you're doing, Yeni. So, I think that's how I'm going. But, I'm still the artist, not the corporate
guys, today we are cooking omena, ama daga. So I want to chagua. Yeah, so these are omena. These are sandings. Are they called sandings? Yeah. So these ones are, I bought them at the market. I want to use chagua and then we start our cooking. Yeah, these ones are omena. As you can see how they look. So you need to sort them out to make sure no shells like these ones. This is a shell. I don't know if you can see well. This is a shell. Make sure no shell is any. It's any baby shrimp. Some baby shrimps. <laughs> yeah. So I want to sort them out. And then we start cooking. So I'm done sorting them out so these ones are waste and also these ones as you can see we have shells so and these ones are Remember our sanding some and omena? Yes, so we usually love using the glass bowl to avoid the smell on plastic utensils. So I will put my sanding here or omena into my those ones. I will remove them and then I will use hot water to wash them. Use hot water. Uh, 
Now, then I will infuse many vinegar. And because the motor, they are hot, I will use a not let them stay for a longer period in water to avoid uh, the scale coming off so that it will not be itchy on my tongue. I usually find them if they stay for a long period in hot water, the scales, the two small scales, they are so irritating. So I guess I'm done. So I will add cold water so that I can be able to remove them. Water. Yeah, that's fine. Then I will use I will use this plastic thing to remove them. To avoid uh, adding the sun on the bottom to the clean ones. This part you can at least better see the the small shrimps, so many shrimps. position to let the water drain as I clean the sink to avoid that smell. Sophoria, and then you add a good amount of soaking oil and you let it heat and then you fry there are some people who usually deep fry but for me I'll usually fry okay so this is my cooking oil I will let it heat and then we add our omena so I guess our oil is fine so I will Then we let them fry. So you keep turning. You can see I love mine golden brown. So uh, as you can talk about my as you can see. So I will be using the same same cooking oil to fry them. It's hot. 
wash it off. As you can see, this is a lot of cooking oil. This one. So I'll use it to cook the onion. So this is the how our they are. They're so crunchy. Mmm, so crunchy. So so crunchy. Using the same same oil, I'm adding the onion. So I have added the dania stock. So next, I will add our green capsicum and tomato. Baba, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check it creepy. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. Thank you. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. You can opt to eat them as they are fried, but also you can add water. And also you can add eggs. Bepsi could have made us a mayai. So, I have added a little bit of water, but I usually love it when it boils until the water is reduced. Yeah, so I will let it boil until the water is reduced. Then we will serve our meal. Tomato. We will add our coriander. 